So everyday superpower signing in. We talk non-verbal communication, human relations, game and so on and so forth, everything in between. Yo, let's let's get talking. So today we're gonna talk about aggressive people, we're gonna talk about bullies, we're gonna talk about people who engage in conflict and you may have been a victim of this, uh, although I don't like to use the term victim, you might have been on the receiving end uh, of these sort of peoples. I think to some extent we all do uh, from one way or another through uh, varying means, some being, uh, you know, bolder than the others. And yeah, how these people interact and what the best sort of, or at least one strategy of dealing with them would be. So I did a little bit of reading the other day. I came across something I found quite interesting in regards to those whom have been within a aggressive parenting situation when they were younger. So perhaps the parents were quite aggressive, whether that be verbally or physically, or perhaps they had witnessed, um, you know, aggression uh, on a regular, if not heavy basis between the parents uh, or generally just been brought up in quite a violent, through one way or another, childhood, right? And then the child grows up as to where to align with what their belief is on general communications. They have to manifest that aggression between other people and that violent and aggressive emotional reaction through others, all right? Not only is it now internalized so that they can project it onto other people. I'm an angry, aggressive person because this is my reality. So I will provoke that in others or I will get other people to act in such manner in response to me. So not only does it align and confirm that my parents were doing the right thing, but it correlates and agrees with my world view so my ego isn't hurt you know where I'm coming from so what I'm going to talk about is aggressive people and how they don't really want issues they don't really want problems what they want to do is shed their skin and their internal conflict and mood and project it onto others express it onto others now bullying comes into mind but I'm not speaking on the bully as in, you know, one way. I'm speaking on people who point the finger and needlessly, consistently attack others uh, as a power play in order to gain the higher moral ground, but it works the contrary because a cycle begins and that cycle is one of being known for and being consistent within this realm of negative vibration and behavior and those who are entertained by it and those who engage by it and those who get along with these sorts of people are those of one of a like so it creates and solidifies this negative space where this person exists now if you have ever been attacked by one of these people what you do is you listen and laugh okay you don't react you most definitely don't react emotionally because that's the exact result they are looking for all right because the moment you react to what they claim or the slander they put out you find yourself in the position they pinpointed you out to be in the first place whereas you just brush it off and suddenly they don't get that moral higher ground and they are left to simmer in this boiling pot it's a very painful place to be right what you'll realize is when the finger is pointed and you think bloody hell where did that come from or it's so emotionally charged given you don't necessarily believe that you've done so wrong or pay attention to this right let's say they have some reason to be annoyed at someone but this person is in consistent conflict at least uh, overtly drama um, degrees of conflict over and over and over right have a look at what they're saying and have a look at what they're accusing you, if not other people, of doing. And you will see that exact behavior in their own. 
because what they're doing is they're taking their inner struggle and conflict and dislike of oneself, finding a way of perceiving it in others, twisting words to an extent where they can find a way to just maneuver it in and pin it on others and then drop the ball and say this person's bad because of this reason and you will find that reason actually reflects them, actually is something they are when you put the magnifying glass on them. You will find a thief talk indirectly or directly about others stealing whether it be subtle or overt, through jest or through actual accusation in order to take the attraction of that particular circumstance off of themselves. Yet paradoxically, what it does is actually garners more attention to themselves when you look at the statement and the proposal logically as opposed to emotionally. Because the moment you react emotionally, you get absorbed within this emotional whirlpool, right? Because this is the space they exist in. They are not pointing the finger based on facts and, um, you know, rational thought. They are pointing the finger based on their inner discontent, for the most part, at least. And the base of the matter is... They don't really want them problems. Their inner child is wanting to confirm the aggression and the discontent that it believes inside, outside of the conscious awareness, locked away. But them themselves don't really want the trouble and the trauma that continues to build and build and build within their life as they go from one person to another, pointing the finger creating problems and the people around them definitely don't want that loved ones don't want that for them and so on and so forth unless it is a generational matter unless it is a tribal matter as to where they all coexist within this very negative space and don't get me wrong that's more than likely part of the case as you do absorb that wavelength that is produced by those around you if I'm consistently around somebody who makes bad decisions, I'm not going to be influenced to make good decisions. I've set a low standard of thought. So, they don't really want the problems and... If you want to respond, you must wait. If you want to respond, you must see what they're saying and make sense out of what they're saying. Don't look at yourself, have a look at them, who they are, and add up the dots and look in between the lines, yeah? These people are horrible people. I cannot stand these people. But these people garner interest, attraction, are like a clown at the circus when they act in certain manners. They are like a court gesture, jester performing in such a manner which is normal to them. Because that's all they've ever known of life. Because when you react in an emotional and aggressive manner, in reflection to their statements and accusations, that correlates with what they know of the world. And what they know of the world is being talked to with aggression. Don't get sucked into the whirlpool, it's not worth it. If you're to react, the, it's, it's unbelievable that the best way of reacting and the most infuriating way of reacting is to not do so at all. What will happen is, at the very worst, they will continue to make statements of growing intensity until they slip up and say something stupid and humiliate themselves. People will look at them, especially those who know them and think, they're kicking off again. They're doing it again. Look at them. They're a clown show. People don't take them respectfully because they are known for who they are and what they do. And the only people who agree and exist within that space of communication with them on a genuine basis are those who exist within the same realm and aren't to be taken seriously. You don't need to be around that. Do you think the monarchy pays attention to the slanderous comments of the people? No. They wouldn't have the time to do that, nor the energy. They just listen and laugh. 
well they don't even listen you see where I'm coming from you can be that person if I can laugh at the president of the United States and get a response that puts the president of the United States on my level what does that make me does that make me on verge of the presidency or does that make them as casual and common as the common man don't lower yourself to them level don't get zapped in to the whirlpool deny it i'm signing up